Hello Pixel Gunners, this is Martin Hype from AppsAndroid.dk with another weapon review for you. As always, when I'm making English videos, let me start by saying if my English is not that good, it's because I'm Danish. So if the grammar is a little off, please bear with me. Today, I am going to review the Freeze Ray Rifle UP2 one of the best special weapons in the game. As you can see, it has a lethality on 25, a good fire rate, a very good ammo capacity. You ca can collect up to 300 ammo capacity and a very good mobility. There is no scope on the freeze ray rifle UP2 as it used to be, but it's still a very good weapon. I don't use it that much, due. I love using the portable Death Moon UP2, but I recommend the Freeze Ray Rifle UP2 a lot. To go with it, you can use the Engineer Cape. It accelerates the reloading time of the weapon and accelerates the operation time of all gear tools. You can also use the engineer boots if you want to. And the engineer mask increases the cartridge supply for weapons from special category. I won't be wearing any of that. If you want some extra damage, you can use the custom cape. It gives you about 5% extra damage so the damage is now 26.5 or something like that. I will be wearing the engineer cape UP2. I have some gameplay for you later on but first I just want to show you as always how the freeze ray rifle UP2 can be used in combat. And as always we go to coop survival so we will not get disturbed. As I said before I have some awesome gameplay for you later on. I usually always get a lot of kills if I'm using the Freeze Ray Rifle UP2, but I do not think it's so fun to use. And maybe it would be a good idea to actually have it with us. Like that, yes. When you walk with the Freeze Ray Rifle UP2, as you can see the weapon is going a little up, a little down. That annoys me a little. And you can make headshots with it, by the way, and it has a pretty good range, pretty good uh, fire range. And compared to bullet weapons, for example the, the Secret Forces rifle, this is much much more accurate. If I hold down the fire bottom, if I hold down the fire bottom, using the secret forces rifle I almost do not hit anything this is not the case with laser weapons the disadvantage is that people can see where you are shooting from when you use laser guns and I will try to show you right now we are using the the cape so uh, reload is pretty damn fast. Let me show you. As you can see, that was very, very good reloading. I will now try to reload without the cape to show you that. So let me change the cape and let's empty the clip.
as you can see, it goes a little faster using the Engineer Cape UP2. I recommend uh, using the accessory that I do. I use Stormtrooper boots to get some height when I jump. Maybe you have a different playstyle, but uh, if you can't jump that high, then uh, then the weapons like this without scope, I think that at least I I uh, I get killed very often. So um, just try it out. If you uh, and always when you buy new weapons, always go to Coop Survival to to check them out and try them before you go to combat. Oh, 320 is the limit capacity. That's pretty good. It's not a, not as good as the Dragon Breath. It can hold 500. But it's one of the best ammo capacity in the game. So I think that I have made my point. And I think that we can go to gameplay. As you can see, the mobility is pretty damn good. 120. And as I said before, the real kicker with this weapon is that you can just hold it down and it still hits the target. The laser beam is not so um, is not so thick compared to the dragon breath, so the dragon breath is a little easier to uh, to aim with but you will get used to that so i have some awesome gameplay for you right now and as you can see it's a very very good weapon to have with you in combat i actually i would actually say that this is one of the weapons in the game that you could use as your primary weapon even it's not from the primary category. Let's go to the gameplay.